Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the life and career of Nancy Wilson, the legendary rock guitarist and songwriter. With her unique sound and powerful stage presence, she has become one of the most influential musicians of our time. Nancy Wilson was born on March 16, 1954 in San Francisco, California. She grew up in a musical family and was introduced to the guitar at an early age. Raised in Bellevue, Washington, Wilson began playing music as a teenager. On February 9, 1964, Wilson and her sister Anne saw the Beatles perform on The Ed Sullivan Show, a moment that they each recalled as being profoundly influential. That was the moment Anne and I heard the call to become rock musicians. Two friends joined them to form The Viewpoints. The Viewpoints were a four-part harmony vocal group. Their first public show was a folk festival on Vashon Island in 1967. In Wilson's words, we didn't get paid, but since there were people sitting in folding chairs, we considered it a professional gig. Wilson's sister, Anne, answered guitarist Roger Fisher's advertisement seeking a drummer and a singer. She impressed them with her vocal skills, and within an hour of meeting, and joined the group, which was called Hocus Pocus. The group shortly changed its name to Heart. Pressed by her sister, Nancy joined the band. Wilson recalls that some of the guys in the band were initially resistant to her joining and insisted she audition. She was given the assignment to work up the introduction to the Yes song, Clap. She learned it when the next night after playing it with the band at a tavern, was officially made a member of the band. The band recorded a demo with Mushroom Records with producer Mike Flicker. Flicker saw Nancy as a diamond in the rough, but was intrigued by the idea of a female rock guitarist. Records released Magic Man as a single before Hart's debut album, Dreamboat Annie, had been completed. The song received airplay in and around Vancouver. Portrait Records released the band's second album, Little Queen, in May of 1977. The album spawned the track Barracuda. The band's third official release, Magazine, was released preemptively by Mushroom the following year. It contained eight tracks, some of which had been unfinished. The band sought an injunction, and Magazine was recalled after 50,000 copies had already been sold. The dispute over the record lasted nearly two years. Wilson and the group traveled to California, where her friend, Sue Ennis, was studying to receive a Ph.D. at UC Berkeley. Ennis became a writing partner on the group's fourth release, Dog and Butterfly. The album was released in October of 1978, selling a million copies within the first month. It remained on the album charts for a better part of a year and went on to become a triple platinum album. During their tour to support Dog and Butterfly, Wilson and Fisher, who were a couple at the time, became estranged. After discovering Fisher had cheated on her, Wilson began dating drummer Michael DeRozier. This resulted in tension between the band members, ending with Fisher destroying a guitar on stage and throwing part of it at Wilson in a dressing room. In October of 1979, the group voted to oust Fisher from the band. This change allowed Wilson the opportunity to play more lead guitar. Tensions between Wilson and DeRozier had increased after several breakups, and both he and bassist Fossen decided to leave the band. Over the next year, they were replaced by bassist Mark Andes and drummer Denny Carmasi. During the Passion Works album in 1983, drugs became a factor in the band's work. Wilson recalls everything we did in those years had a white sheen of powder over it. Cocaine was sprinkled over the albums, the videos, and our lives. Cocaine stripped all the humor out of our music. After the release of Passion Works, CBS dropped the band due to lackluster sales. The self-titled Heart in 1985 became the band's first number one album. What About Love was released as a single ahead of the album, it became a hit, and crossed over into the pop charts. The album remained on the charts for 78 weeks and went on to be certified five times platinum. The album had five hit singles, including These Dreams, a single that featured Nancy on lead vocals, the band's first number one single. 
The album Bad Animals was preceded by the single Alone. It became the band's second number one hit. The Bad Animals tour was to start in May of 1987. During the tour, Anne began to have moments of panic and stage fright. Nancy would have to step forward and play an unscheduled guitar solo or other ploys to buy its time for Anne to compose herself. Work began on the follow-up album, Brigade, in 1989. The album, Desire Walks On, was released in November of 1993 and peaked on Billboard at number 48. It received gold certification, but was far from the multi-platinum success their 1980s albums had. Art owed Capitol Records one more album. Since their Love Monger shows had received such a positive response, they decided to record an unplugged album titled The Road Home. John Paul Jones of Led Zeppelin served as producer. Lane Staley of Alice in Chains and Chris Cornell of Soundgarden both contributed. The album only reached number 87 on the charts and the group was dropped by Capitol. In 1995, Wilson requested that Hart go on hiatus. Wilson explained that she wanted to spend more time working with husband Cameron Crowe on film scores and start a family. At the time, Wilson was 41 and undergoing fertility treatments, which were difficult to schedule around a rock tour. Wilson had played Beautiful Girl in Car in Crow's Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and then had a small speaking part in The Wildlife. She also contributed some guitar recordings for Crow's 1989 film, Say Anything, and the original song, All for Love. Wilson became more involved in Jerry Maguire, Crow's new film, and decided that she would write the film score. Over the course of her career, Nancy Wilson has won numerous awards. In 2013, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Heart. In 2016, Gibson Guitars ranked Wilson the eighth greatest female guitarist of all time. And in 2021, she was awarded the Sea Rocks Icon Award for her contributions to the music industry. Nancy Wilson has also collaborated with a number of other artists over the years, including Elton John, Slash, and Alison Krauss. Seeing Nancy Wilson's impact on rock music cannot be overstated. From her innovative guitar, which incorporated elements of rock, folk, and classical, to her powerful songwriting, she has been a true trailblazer in the industry. We can only hope that she continues to inspire and entertain us for many years to come. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.